Hey, Ronnie. Hello. You know, we've been talking a lot about the Fen treasure. Yes. And in doing our research, we found a story about a robot submarine finding the holy grail of shipwrecks with a treasure worth billions of dollars. Oh, my God. Yeah. That story and more is on the next Men Are So Smart. A more than 300-year-old Spanish shipwreck carrying treasure that might be worth up to $17 billion. With a B. $17 billion was discovered with the help of an underwater robot. Oh, my God. Is it self-aware? It may be. Do we need to contact Skynet? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Remus 6000, and it can dive nearly four miles and is loaded with sensors and cameras. Bronze cannons confirmed the holy grail of shipwrecks has been found at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea. They are engraved with dolphins, a telltale sign. They belong to the Spanish galleon San Jose, which was lost more than 300 years ago. I remember when that was in the paper. I remember. <laughs> we were both around then. Yeah, we were 30. <laughs> Uh, I just sat there for like 10 minutes and smiled, says Jeff Kelly, a research engineer with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Kelly, who was alone in his bunk on the search vessel when he spotted the cannons. Now, he says, now, I'm not a marine archaeolog or ar archaeologist, but I know what a cannon looks like. So in that moment, I guess I was the only person in the world who knew we'd found the shipwreck. The exact location of the wreckage is still a secret. Thank goodness. But it was discovered in November of 2015 off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. Its cargo of gold, silver, and emeralds could be worth as much as $17 billion. Uh, the, this underwater submarine, uh, operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts, found the ship 2,000 feet below the surface. Uh, the underwater robot scanned the seafloor using long-range sonar, and then went back and took pictures of any objects that seemed out of the ordinary. You can take bigger risks without your technology and go to places where it wouldn't be safe or feasible to put a human being, Kelly said. The robot used the same methods to find Air France Flight 447, which crashed off the coast of Brazil in 20, or 2009. Uh, British warships sunk the San Jose and its crew of 600 in 1701. For now, all of its treasure remains underwater and at those kind of depths for that long a time ronnie all of that stuff i'm sure is completely untouched untouched yeah uh, everyone is focused on the treasure aspect the whole thing is a cultural treasure it's a piece of history that's sitting on the sea floor that tells a story kelly said the wreck has been uh, shrouded in secrecy because of the lingering question about who actually owns it? Colombia and Spain. They both say it belongs to them. The researchers at Woods Hole say they are explorers, not treasure hunters, and are not involved in the ownership disputes. Hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about. Undisturbed. Yeah. Um, you, I wonder, I mean, is there an ocean current that deep in the water? Uh, there, are, there are currents, but they're not... They're not bad. They're not, you know, awful. Uh, but yeah, there are some trenches that tend to have water flowing through them at a higher rate than you would be comfortable in. Okay, so then this ship has been down there for 300 years. And of course, robots and drones are now finally coming to society. Uh, if this robot submarine is the only thing that can go down that deep and survive, how do they get the treasure? How do they get it up? Uh, I think you're going to have to get a hold of the Terminator. Oh. Again, Skynet. Hmm. Although, you know, I don't know that it would be... I mean, I don't know if you've ever scuba dived at all. No, I'm not actually scuba, just snorkeling. But when you get down about... 20 feet, uh, there's pressure. 
and then the further you go down, there's more pressure. I can imagine at 2,000 feet, it would take most vessels and crush them like you crush a beer can on your head. You see me? <laughs> so, um, yeah. but I mean, if something is worth $17 billion, you got to get there. Wouldn't it seem worth it to build a million dollar submarine with some robot arms that you can control to go in and find that? Well, I think that that's what the robot sub did was confirm that there is, in fact, treasure there. So now... I just need to find a way to get it up. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times they like to put those uh, balloons underneath a shipwreck and right. raise it to the surface that way. But again, how do you get to 2,000 feet? You know, I don't see them uh, raising this whole ship, although it would be nice, and I'm sure Spain would love to have this uh, this old galleon back. But if it's been underwater that long, I would think that just over time has taken its toll. I mean, they're all wood, and so you're not going to, as you try to raise it, uh, it's going to come up in pieces. Well, there's going to have to be some kind of technology that... But the treasure, you, you could bring up, you could hook a balloon to a treasure chest and, and float it. Or I, I just wonder how they really did carry all their, their gold doubloons back in the day. You know, if they would be in one chest, one chest or if they would be just thrown about in a cargo hold. Well, there's treasure out there. <laughs> Don't have to don't have to search for fence treasure treasure. No. This one's worth uh about a hundred and seventy thousand times more than that one. Yeah, how about this? In your search, forget the rest, you'll find gold doubloons in a treasure chest. <laughs> That's clue one. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I don't think I got eight more in me. <laughs> I don't think so. Not, not on the fly. All right, so more treasure news for you. Ronnie and I are fascinated by this as we uh, retire and have time on our hands. Uh, we're considering becoming treasure hunters. A pro team. We'll call ourselves <laughs> yeah. a pro team yep. for this. All right, that'll do it. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a like. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel. Uh, information on us you'll find below, including our website, menaresosmart.com. We are on all the social medias that the kids follow. And uh, we have email as well. I'm at lou at men are so smart com. Ronnie Corbett. Uh, I'm sorry, Ronnie at men are so smart com. I was wondering yeah, if you sorry. were getting my emails. Now I know what you're <laughs> not. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corbett, Ronnie. And until we either discover the treasure or a treasure of some kind, we'll continue to do these shows. Yeah. And that will wrap up Men Are So Smart.